Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. So today we're going to make some more progress on our engine rebuild here. We've got a lot to do. All right, we're going to start out by cleaning up our engine mounting brackets there and got the coil there. We'll get that installed as well. The water pump, we'll try to find that and get it installed along with the thermostat. The engine mounting brackets go right on the side here. We'll try to get the distributor installed. Lots to do. And of course, in the passenger seat here, let's see, there's my distributor. But actually, the first thing I want to do, I want to get my engine mounting brackets here. Got to get these guys cleaned up, a quick coat of rust preventative paint on them, paint them up nice and black to match everything else, and it'll look good. And here I am taking time to uh, mask over where our bolts are going to go that run to our engine block and then on our through bolts as well. We don't want to get coats of paint. Scratch this up a little bit. You want to try to keep paint off of these surfaces so you get a nice clean mate to your engine block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with this uh, rust converter spray paint. And this is really cool stuff. What it does is it takes a rusty surface and converts it into a paintable surface, makes it waterproof. I've had really good success with this. Um, I'll link in the description below of where you can find that. Yes, ideally you would take this to someone, have it sandblasted, and then paint it that way. But most backyard mechanics like me, this is my engine mount. I'm not too worried about it, so this will work just fine. Okay, while we are waiting for that to dry, let's move on to our distributor here. Now timing is going to be key on this, right? So if you remember from my previous video, I'll uh, be sure to link it in the description below. I have my engine at top dead center for number one cylinder. So I did that before I put the head on and all that. Or no, I did that after the head was on, but I was doing the valve train, that was it. So I put the valve train on, made sure that it was at top dead center on the uh, compression stroke. And my timing mark here is right at the zero mark, so I know that's where we're at. Now if you're not sure if you're at top dead center, there's a few different ways you can do it. Uh, make sure your mark is at the zero mark right there. So, But we need to know if that's either the compression stroke or the exhaust stroke. And now like I said, when I had the valve cover off, I could tell by the valve train when the valves were opening. If you have your head on and your valve cover on, we can come around here. If your manifold's off, you can actually look in here and see when your valves are closed. If your manifold's on and you can't get to that either, there's another way you can do it. You can come around here to spark plug number one when you have your finger stuck in there. You're gonna feel compression, you're gonna feel air coming out of there if you stick your finger in there with the spark plug out, and that'll tell you you're on your compression stroke. And if that's still a little bit confusing, uh, go back and watch the episode right before this one where I talk about the valve train and getting it at top dead center. And you can see there what exactly what I'm talking about. So, but now I know I'm at top dead center. I can go ahead and insert my uh, distributor here. I need the slot for the oil pump. You can just take a flathead screwdriver and turn this. I want it at the 11 o'clock position. So, See, that's 10.45, that looks like 11 to me. Let's 
get a little bit of lube on our helical gears here. We don't want this running dry on our camshaft. Put our little gasket in place. Now this is where the timing is gonna be real critical. So there's a few different things here. I'm gonna line the, can you see that? Yeah. I have a mark on the distributor right here at the uh, five o'clock position. And I'm gonna line the rotor up with that. But actually, because this is a helical gear, it's gonna twist when we put it in. So let's back this off to about the four o'clock. Then if I slide this straight in, I'm just gonna line up the little mounting spot here with the engine block. It's at the four o'clock position. As I slide it in, I'm getting hung up on the oil pump down there. It's just not lined up perfect. Let's try that. There we go. So we're gonna continue next week with getting all the rest of these accessories on, so be sure to watch for that video. In the meantime, check out my next one right up here. And if my videos have helped you out or you wanna help support the Jeep Solid Garage, check out my Patreon page linked in the description below. Some of my favorite tools and things down there as well. Thanks for watching, have a good day.